Welcome to the 1772 setup. So here you have the 1772 connectors. This is the HD SDI input. The next one down is SD2 and the next one is SD1. This is the power input and the ethernet input. So HD, SD2, SD1. So first thing we're going to do is open Neptune Guard. So I'm going to open that from scratch. And the first thing Neptune Guard will do is find the IP address of the board. If you wish to update the firmware, you go to the update section, choose the folder in which the update file is held, only the folder, just select the folder and then click update. I'm not going to do that now. You can reset the device or you can factory default, which is what I'm going to do. So factory default, yes, that sets all the settings to factory default mode. Back to board. Here you can see the IP address 0.30. The first thing we need to do is look at the firmware. That's the latest. It's firmware, not board. Go to web. We'll open up a web page which allows you to set up the module. So here we have the setup page. First thing we do is go to settings, system, and CSI1 and CSI2 have nothing set. So the first thing you do is set that to HDSDI. Next one to TW9910 and save that. Let's look at the information button to see if we've got anything connected. And here you can see that we have lock with a PAL camera on SD2 and an HD camera on HD1. So that's good. HD1 in the top left and SD2. Okay, let's go back to settings, system, now we're going to enable the RTSP server. So go to RTSP server, enable that, that's off as default, turn that on and give it a port number, 554 is typical, and save that. And that's it, that's all you need to do from factory default. Right, next we're going to go to the streaming section and set up four different streams. So MUX1 I'm going to set as SD2 camera. I'm going to use network and MPEG transport stream, which is TS. And the IP address has to be the IP address of the computer that you're going to run VLC or Neptune player. So to find the IP address, we're going to open up a command line and type IP config. And this will find the IP address of this particular computer, which you can see here. So I'm going to use that IP address. I'm going to type that in now. Change the port to 1234 and save it. Just the back button. Let's set up MUX2. This time we're going to use HD1. And we're going to set up t network TS. Protocol TS, we're going to use a multicast IP address of 227.2.2.7 as an example, and we're going to change the port to 1235. Save that. MUX3, I'm going to set up as an RTSP stream, so I'm going to select SD2, then I'm going to use RTSP and save that. Fourth MUX, I'm going to set up with HD1 and RTSP. Again, we don't need to do anything else. So we've now set up four different MUX settings. These could all be the same but with different formats, which we can show you later. These green triangles means that the stream is turned off. When it goes red, the stream is actually turned on. So here you can turn an on and off the stream, particularly over UDP, you have to enable that. Right, we're going to set up in the Neptune player, we're going to set up a transport stream, unicast, we only need the port, 
because we already know the IP of this computer. That's the same port as you set up here in MUX1. And that's what we need to do. So the next thing is we can enable that stream. As soon as we enable the stream by clicking the green triangle, the stream will show up on Neptune Player. Right, let's turn that stream off and let's open up a multicast stream. So this time I'm using this multicast IP address 227.2.2.7, different port number 1234.5, uh, sorry, and we're going to enable that stream and click play. And there you go, that's the HD camera. The third MUX or MUX3 is an RTSP. I'm going to open this in VLC player for a change. So in VLC we type in the RTSP URL which you can see here. Just edit that. So the IP address is the IP of the board followed by 554 followed by mux1.sdp or mux2 or 3 4 whichever mux you're using and click play. And what that does is it starts the stream and then you can see the stream URL in the bottom of the LC player. And it's exactly the same for MUX4, just a different camera setting on that particular one. And that's it. That's how you get the streams working in uh, on the ANT1772. So here I'm just changing the SDP MUX number. And you can see that the MUX4 enables itself straight away.